Hey guys, it's Roxy. Welcome to day 39 of our video blog challenge. It's Saturday. I'm standing out here in the milky Alberta sun and I'm getting ready for a father-daughter date at our local uh, wildlife charity fundraiser. I'm super excited to be spending some time with some, you know, entrepreneurial spirited people, people that want to do our, uh, our wildlife and our environment in a, in a positive way here in Alberta. This morning, uh, when I was touching base with a couple of friends, we were talking about struggles and how complicated and hard it is. And it really tied into my childhood days of all the struggles that I had. And it made me think about who I lent on, you know, on top of leaning on my dad and um, using my family and uh, mentoring from them. You, I also had some amazing 4-H teachers and riding lesson instructors and college mentors. And all of those men and ladies that were in my life helping me with my different 4-H projects or, you know, when I was training horses for other people, all of the struggles that I had, um, and I would, you know, reach upward like we're, we're taught to, we're encouraged to reach up when we're having a struggle, ask our mentors, and be willing to do what they tell you to do. If they tell you this is how you have to get past this point of struggle, then are you willing? Are you just asking because you're hoping that there's an easier way that, you know, you can take the shortcut, you know? Sometimes there are no shortcuts. And understanding that the pains and the struggles, the headaches and the heartaches, it's hard and it's complicated. Those, those are your biggest joys. And you know what? You should be celebrating them. If, if it's a hard for you, you should be cheering yourself on. You know why? It's because when you get past that, that's where your biggest joys, your victories, your blessings, the bigger the struggle, the bigger the blessing awaits you. Know that. Know that. And everything is hard to begin with. Do you think a baby doesn't find it hard to start walking? You know, and they fall down, you know, and they bounce up, they fall down, they bounce up, you know. You know, yeah, they fall down once in a while and they get bumped really, really hard and then a couple tears happen. Yeah, so we have a bad day and you have a couple tears. You get back up. It's a lesson. There's learnings. You should be excited about the lesson and the learnings and the struggle and how hard and how complicated it is. Because that's where it gets good. That's where you get good. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm a little bit passionate and fiery out today. You know what? Because I was having a really hard morning myself. And I was trying to clean up my Facebook Messenger because I'm super excited about our Facebook Mastery Bootcamp round number two that I want to start right away. And I'm talking with some friends and I know they're going to join in with me and it's going to be an amazing time to grow your business and grow yourself ultimately and grow your relationships and your communications. But my morning didn't go as planned. I felt like I'm getting further and further behind and here I'm complaining that I have so many messages. I have too many conversations. I can't keep up. I'm never going to get ahead. I want to clean out my message folder. Spring cleaning. I want to do it. And it didn't happen. And I'm complaining going like, Roxanne, you're crazy. You're complaining because you have too many people to talk to about this boot camp, about your opportunity. I'm like, what woman? Your head's not screwed on straight. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today. Take joy in your struggle and knowing that your biggest celebrations, your biggest victories, your biggest blessings are just right there. So keep going. And I will see you on the sunny side of life tomorrow. You guys have a great day.